Come on, Max. You sure you saw someone under here? Sure as I'm standing here risking a herniated disc. Now he... <laughs> hey, you in there. Are you giving us a hand saving your keister? Just put your arms up and let... It's a lie, Sam. Ooh, now we're talking. On three. One, two... <laughs> <laughs> Someone was under there? Yeah, yeah, with the under. Can we get back to the giant monster now? Hey, you okay, buddy? Looks like you took a pretty good bash to the bones. I'm sorry. Bash to the bones? Have you been watching British television again? I can't help it. The season's so depressed. It's like a non-stop thrill ride. Uh-oh, we've got incoming. Hey, Luffy, you might want to take a couple steps to the right and or left. Lumpy, get over here before you get yourself killed! That's not a very nice thing to say to someone who's suffering from a dumpster-induced concussion, Max. Sorry, Lumpy. Welcome to the party, kid. Now get down! And thanks for bringing down our unintended casualty count. I'm Sam. He's Max. We're the freelance police. You might recognize us from our breakfast cereals and underground comics. That 50-foot bundle of fun popped up a few minutes ago and started trashing our neighborhood. You should see what it did to our portico! You're adorable when you misuse architectural terms. Anyway, we think we've got a plan to stop this terrifying enigma. But we need someone with five fingers to operate this! Uh, where were you keeping that, Max? That's classified, Sam. Also horrifying. That's the spirit! Okay, kid, here's what we need you to do. When I yell go, we're gonna try to distract Mr. Grumpy Heads. All you have to do is load these rockets into this state-of-the-art rocket launcher. Which we totally didn't steal from a military trade show swag bag. Wait until we've distracted it, point this in the general vicinity of one of the heads, and... Boom! Great big gobs of greasy, grimy monster guts! Do we have a copyright on that? Ready? Set? Go! <laughs> hey, big guy! I'm shooting! One down, four to go. Ah, uh, Sam? My hilarious antics aren't distracting him anymore. I was afraid this might happen. It appears that this menace from beyond is capable of temporarily learning from its mistakes. Let me try to distract it this time. Hey, monster, look over here while I read you your rights. You have the right to get blown up. If you don't want to get blown up now, that's too bad, because you're going to get blown up now. Rats, now the critter won't pay any attention to me. Just like Debbie and the club. Maybe we should try to distract him together with the gift of music. Kid. What sort of dodge are you not getting? The music stopped working. Yes. A hey, what happened to all those fireworks we didn't get to shoot off last year? Good idea, Sam. All monsters are entranced by the hypnotic flow of a knife giving fire. Chasing us, Max. We're all out of distractions. Just keep shooting. I thought you'd never ask. Yeah! Uh, I think we need to find some cover, Max. That thing's twitching like a grammarian in a chat room. Hey, look! It shrunk! They don't usually do that. Maybe it just got out of the pool. You okay, kid? Bumpy's fine, Sam. Those dilated pupils and twitching eyebrows are the signs of a true hero. You know, Max, you may be onto something. I am? Kid, you've got moxie, nerve, spunk, and an overall joie de vivre that's downright refreshing in this mechanized age. Why? As it so happens, the freelance police are looking to expand their ranks, and we could use a gutsy go-getter like you. Oh, please, Sam, don't. So what do you say, kid? Do you have what it takes to become one of the few, the odd, the marginally compensated? I'm begging you. Do you want to join the freelance police? Ah.
Hey, were you raised in a sewer? We're busy! No, we're not. Come on in. Hello! Oh, it's you. Welcome, kid. Did you fill out that form we gave you? It's right here, Sam. Here, Lumpy, hold this for me. We haven't been formally introduced, but I'm Sam, and this is my huggable partner, Max. Please don't hug me. We're the freelance police, selfless wranglers of scurvy gutter trash, supernatural botherers, and vermin of all stripes. I'm less a vermin and more of a lagomorph. Crime never sleeps around here, so we need quality cadets like you with limited career options and leaders of type O blood. Looks like you've already filled out an application form. Great. I'll just enter all your data into old Vicky here. In the meantime, Max will give you a basic aptitude test to make sure you can walk and chew gum at the same time. Rise and shine, Lumpy! You're about to take a one-way ticket to H.E. Double Hockey Sticks with yours truly as a tour guide. I'm gonna turn your flabby, useless body into a lean, mean, freelance policing machine. Do you understand me? Just show him the checklist, Sergeant Rockhead. Over there is a checklist of basic tasks. If you complete them without accidentally bursting your appendix, I may allow you to continue your training. I know these initial tasks seem menial and degrading, but menial and degrading tasks are the cornerstone of a freelance police officer's day. They're right up there with horrifying and soul-crushing. The potential cadet places the empty mug in the coffee maker and lines up his shot. Don't forget, one shot of cream and two scoops of sugar. Ah, that's the stuff. Ah, uh, sorry I was a little rough on you earlier. Oh, it's three of my favorite top eight sharp toys. We need to know if you can hit the broadside of a barn with your throwing arm. And that's not just a... Now do me! Now do me! <laughs> Why don't you throw me like that anymore, Sam? Pam and HR said I had to cut it out. <sighs> it's nothing sacred anymore. They're right up there with horrifying and soul-crushing. They keep telling me to get a computer or a scanner, but nothing beats the feel of a slowly rusting typewriter with a few missing letters. You're a testy little scamp. Good thing I'm wearing Kevlar skivvies. You're not looking for hints, are you? Because that's not really part of the program. Neither are tips, clues, or implications. Max keeps telling me to throw out the record player, but I love the sound of vinyl. But I hate being called a hipster. We live everywhere and we cannot die. You can observe us with a naked eye. We're attached to you. wouldn't do that. Okay, whatever you do, stay calm. The murder hornets can smell fear. Open a window. Sand. Nice view, isn't it? At least it was before all those yuppies moved in. Uh, it's 2021, Max. No one calls them yuppies anymore. Can I still call them greedy jack wagons? Can't think of a reason not to. Are you sure we want Muppy using the Hey, good for you. Found my breakfast corn dog. Just so you know. I like my corn dogs like I like my, uh... Ah. Max isn't good with similes. Mm, the sweet 
oily smell of irradiated meat-like products. <laughs> Gimme. Hmm, crunchy, chewy, just a hint of pig lips. Not bad, huh? That's Mr. Jingles. All right, kid. I think Mr. Jingles has had enough for one day. To moon rock. We make sure to grab a few every time we go to the moon. They make great stocking stuffers. I am Dozetatron, the Tractor of the Fourth Abysmal Realm, Lord Regent of the Agony Void, and King of the Nightmare Gods. Prepare to. I love the acoustics on those things. They're great for listening in on conversations. My scrapbooks. The government just bets on our old aqua barium. They all went into hibernation a few years ago during an impromptu aqua bear birthday party. People always wondered what went into Dr. Dill's secret aqua bear hibernation formula. I guess I accidentally duplicated it somehow. That's Dr. Dill's, the yellow green soda that the astronauts refused to drink. It's only sold by unlicensed food trucks and party folk. While you're poking around the lacy unmentionables in our closet, would you mind taking out some of those cockroaches with my six gun? Back, you Good job, kid. Now put my gun back before you're overwhelmed with cockroach bloodlust. Do cockroaches even have blood, Sam? Hey, Sam, Luffy's all done with the aptitude tests. How'd the kid do? Somewhere between brain dead and unformed pile of clay. Just how we like them. I got some more typing to do here, but that can wait. Anytime you're ready to head on over to our training grounds, just give me a holler. You ready to start your training? Alrighty then, it's time to gird your wits and steal your loins for the challenges of the Freelance Police Training Grounds. Yes, helping you like pain! Here we are at the Freelance Police Academy of Remedial Crime Busting and Planetary Protection. Sorry about the bumpy drive, but there's two pounds of lead embedded in my right foot. As you can see, the Academy has been built on the remains of Cap Aqua Bear's Funtime Park, a colorful seaside amusement park that closed down in 2005 under mysterious circumstances. By mysterious, he means it went broke. And by colorful, he means psychologically scarring and full of asbestos. In order to complete your training, you'll need to receive a passing grade in 10 sanity-defying challenges. Actually, it's nine, Sam. The Supreme Court just ruled that the 10th one was, quote, cruel, unusual, and lacking pizzazz. Okay, fine. Nine challenges. Once you pass the first three, we'll let you try the next three, and so on. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. We'll be tracking your progress with these special bracelets we confiscated from one of the many mad scientists we've jailed over the years. Just stick out either hand, and Max will slap it on. Slap! Okay, kid, you're good to go. Whenever you're ready, just saunter over to the challenge of your choice, and we'll tell you what to do and where to shoot. Hey, 
Each and every authentic Dr. Bill's Aquabear is painstakingly etched with a unique serial number via a process known only to Dr. Bill's himself. Ah, there you are. As you're probably aware... Holy hopscotch and Hayek, Max! The brains of three of our nation's greatest entrepreneurs have been replaced by fiendishly clever time bombs. I hate when that happens! We'll help you defuse them with some online manuals we've dug up on the dark web. Your examination begins now! The first thing you need to do is open up the head of Thomas Edison here like a ripe mango. The manual says there should be a screw, bolt, or wires somewhere on the side of the head. Move it around to find the right one. Then open her up. Gently. Greetings, aspiring capitalists. My name is Thomas Alva Edison. Alternating current, alternating hokum, I say. Looks like wires. Grab the wire cutters. Good! Now listen to the order of the colors. Don't mess up! Red. Yellow. Black. anything yet it's a fail-safe system max the heads have tells to choose the correct action but the rest are lies that'll make it go kaboomskis but which one is the right one well according to the manual red eyes are the sign of the truth funny with me they're a sign of bloodlust when he says poke me poke him in the eyes no, 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 no. <laughs> When he says, boop me, tap him on the nose. Yank me. Yank me. Yank me. His eyes will turn red when he's telling the truth. Yank me. are the sign of the truth. Funny, with me they're a sign of bloodlust. Yank me. Poke me. Boop me. Poke me. Yank me. Yank me. Poke me. Boop me. Poke me. Yank me. His eyes will turn red when he's telling the truth. Yank me. Poke me. Boop me. Poke me. Yank me. Yank me. Poke me. Boop me. Poke me. His eyes will turn red when he's telling the truth. Yank me. Poke me. Boop me. Poke me. Yank me. Yank me. Poke me. Boop me. Poke me.
Red eyes are the sign of the truth. Funny, with me they're a sign of bloodlust. Yank me. Poke me. Boot me. Poke me. Yank me. <laughs> Looks like wires. Grab the wire cutters. Yellow. Red. Green. Future of concrete houses and wooden dishwashers. He looks up when he's telling the truth. Poke me. Plunge me. Yank me. Boot me. Yank me. Plunge me. Poke me. Plunge me. Yank me! Boot me! Yank me! Plunge me! Boot me! That looks like a flathead. Pick up the flathead screwdriver to take it off and open it up. Yellow! His eyes turn blue when he's telling the truth. Huh. Mood eyes. Poke me. Twist me. Yank me. <coughs> Poke me. Yank me. Plunge me. When his eyes are blue, he's being true. Poke me. Twist me. Yank me. Poke me. Yank me. Plunge me. Boot me. Twist me. Boot me. That looks like a Phillips head. Get the Phillips screwdriver to take it off and open the head. Red. Yellow. Blue. Green. Some people called me the Wizard of Menlo Park. But that's only because I put curses on some of my competitors. When his eyes go to the right, he's telling the truth. Boot me. Boot me. Boot me. When his eyes go to the right, he's telling the truth. Boot me. Boot me. Yank me. Boot me. Plunge me. Smack me. Twist me. Poke me. Plunge me. Boot me. Poke me. Well, look at you. You shut down my bomb. Want to work at my lab? We have all the barium you can eat. Impressive time, kid. Yeah, but can you do it while hanging upside down in a piranha tank? Eh? Nicely done, cadet. You've officially passed the Bombs Away Challenge. Big deal! You can train a chimp to disarm a bomb, 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 bomb. Hey, Sam! We should train a chimp to disarm a bomb! Go! 
Welcome to Sam and Max's Voyage of Pain, a.k.a. the first obstacle course. We've hollowed out the guts of Captain Aqua Bear's spooky voyage attraction and replaced its innards with several tests of physical endurance. Just like Captain Kangaroo. Like most things in life, the course is timed, so you'll have to post a minimally acceptable time to receive a passing grade. Just like Sam's last three dates. Whenever you're ready, just walk through the door and let the sweating commence. That's what she said. Okay, before you begin... Are you ready for deep muscular torment? Jeez, Max, dial it down a notch. As I was saying, each station on this course is designed to test your glutes, abs, pecs, traps, and zeds. We'll tell you what you need to do as you go. Ready? Set, go, run! First up, simply step on this track and avoid these pummeling round things. It's so easy, even a banana slug. That's gonna hurt. Don't let any of that get into your orifices! Ooh. Your scalp looks so shiny from up here. Throw these balls at the targets to impress us with your throwing accuracy. And afterwards, you can impress us with your dinner cooling and laundry skills. That's our mini Rivera! Just a little outside. Please throw better. Be the ball! This ride used to give me the willies. You and me both, pal. Those alluring animatronic mermaids really did a number on my adolescence. Sure you don't need some therapeutic eyewear? Maybe a bowl of soup? Soup? Oh, nice ball holding, kid. Now let's just get this out of the way. Climb this ladder. Ignore the blood stains. Now grab that thingy over your head. And don't forget to go whee! Don't just hang there like the Mona Lisa. Let go! Let it go, Elsa! Let's get to popping, Luffy! Oh, you popped the balloon with a pointy thing! <laughs> Good for you. Don't be afraid to pop the balloons. We're 90% positive they won't feel any pain when you rupture their skin sacks. Stop pooping around! You're not skittish around sharp objects, are you? Because that's kind of a deal breaker. Why do balloons make a popping sound? Nobody really knows, Max. This would be so much cooler with ninja throwing stuff. Right? Am I right? I'm right. Yeah, you say that about everything. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> if you're getting dizzy, try putting your head between your legs. Not looking good there, Luffy. Yes, the combination of alcohol and throwing sharp objects is truly one of mankind's greatest achievements. Not bad, kid! I saw something special in this kid, Max. Turns out it was a fatal lack of self-preservation.
up, kid. Invented by a Canadian? Yeah, yeah, but they still owe us for Java, Kaplan, and Ted Cruz. Sick! The thing I like best about basketball is where are those baggy shorts? I like the headbands and fragile ankles. Sweet! Okay, that's enough. Open it up for now. Last obstacle, kid. Ring the bell. No pressure, loser! while Sam and I upload your massive fails to the internet. <laughs> <laughs>